Hello everyone, welcome back to the Iraqi Dinar channel. Today, we've got some exciting news to discuss, thanks to the latest intel from our friend, Frank26. You might have seen some chatter about the Central Bank of Iraq CBI and the reconstruction efforts in the country. Frank dropped a bombshell on this, and I wanted to break it down for you all. Frank says there's been a report on television claiming the US will soon lift sanctions on reconstruction funding for Iraqi banks. Now hold on a minute, as Frank himself says, this is a powerful statement but with a twist. Here's the key point, according to Frank. These sanctions have already been lifted, it seems the official announcement is still pending. Breaking it down, what does this mean? This is big news, folks. Reconstruction is crucial for Iraq's development. These sanctions, if truly lifted, would free up resources for rebuilding banks, infrastructure, and the entire economy. Why the delay in announcement? There could be a few reasons for the delay in making this official. Sometimes, international agreements and policy changes take time to finalize the paperwork and public pronouncements. Another possibility is that the announcement might be strategically timed. Perhaps they're waiting for the right moment to maximize its impact on the Iraqi economy and global markets. What does this mean for the dinar? Now, the big question you all want answered. How does this affect the Iraqi dinar? Here's the thing. A stronger Iraqi economy with a focus on rebuilding and growth is generally positive for the dinar's value. Increased investment, trade, and a more stable banking system could all contribute to a potential revaluation. Now, before anyone gets to carried away, let's remember this. This is not financial advice. The dinar's future is complex and depends on many factors. Do your own research, consider your risk tolerance and never invest more than you can afford to lose. So, what should we do with this news? Here is my take, stay informed, keep an eye out for official announcements regarding the lifting of reconstruction sanctions. Reliable news sources from Iraq and the US would be a good starting point. Do your research. Dig deeper into the reconstruction plans and how these might impact the Iraqi economy. Be patient. Even if the announcement comes soon, it might take time for any significant impact to be felt on the dinar's value. Don't expect overnight riches. This whole dinar journey is a marathon, not a sprint. Remember, a stronger Iraq benefits everyone in the long run, including dinar holders. Let's talk about this in the comments below. What are your thoughts on this latest update? What kind of positive impacts do you see for the Iraqi economy and the dinar? Thanks for joining me today. As always, stay positive, stay informed, and do your own due diligence. Until next time, happy stacking!